The whole Pokedex is loaded in memory, and as you can see, we have now more than two gigabytes in memory. That's crazy. I started the channel talking about stacks in SwiftUI. Today, we'll talk about another stack, Lazy Bstack. Let's see what is the difference between regular stacks and list. By the way, we will focus only on vertical stacks, but this also applies for horizontal ones. Let's get started. My name is Pete, and this, this is Swift and Tips. Let's start first remembering what is a BStack. BStack is a stack container capable to render your views in vertical order. Let's see that. This example is showing three red color views in vertical order. This is one of the first primitives that you will learn when you start working with SwiftUI. BStack will render all your sub views at the same time, which is great if you want to display a defined short numbers of sub views in the screen. But then what will happen if we have a large number of views to render? Or what will happen if we have a large dynamic number of views? Let's see the first case. In this example, we are displaying the same view multiple times. And for that, we can get the same result using a for each. As you can see, this result is identical to the previous one, but now we got this using a for each. Cool, but now what will happen if instead of three, we display 20 elements? Oh, okay. By default, SwiftUI will find the way to render all the subviews in the screen because our app is not scrollable. Okay, let's then add a scroll view and a height for all our color elements of 200. Pretty nice. We are getting the same result, but now our B stack is scrollable. At this point, looks like our app is working fine, right? But what would happen if instead of 20, now we display 20,000 elements? Let's see what happened. Okay, we are getting some lag here. Yeah, pretty bad lag. Okay, maybe this is too much for this demo. But the idea is to see the memory used by the app. In this case, we are loading 275 megabytes in this application. And this is just a simple app. And this is happening because all the subviews are being rendered at the same time. Or I mean loaded in memory at the same time, regardless if they are being displayed in the screen or not. Actually, we can just see four or five views at the same time in the screen and the rest of views are just in the shadow consuming memory. Okay, here's when BStack comes to the rescue. Let's use a BStack and see what happens. Can you see the difference? First, the app is super smooth. And also, we are just consuming 20 megabytes in memory. Even if we keep scrolling, we're still consuming those 20 megabytes in the app. Amazing. Now, here's a thing to remember. By default, you should always use BStack when you start your applications. Why? Well, that's because lazy loading is loading the information, loading the views on demand. That means only the views that are about to appear will be loaded in memory. That's a trade-off of performance in order to load a big chunk of data. And if, for example, you use lazy BStack to render only three static views, well, you are wasting time and resources instead of just using a regular BStack that will prepare all your views as soon as possible. If you are loading data from network and this is displayed in a BStack with a scroll view, it's better to use a lazy BStack because you don't know how large that data will be. Finally, let's see one more example with Pokemons, of course. Here we have our Pokedex displaying a list of Pokemon with pagination and image caching that we built in the previous episode. We built this Pokemon list view using list and for each. This is a very special case of a scroll view. 
capable to enable pull to refresh and swap actions. Regular things that you can use in an iOS list or UI table view in UIKit. According to Apple, List is also doing some lazy operations because it reuses only the cells required to be rendered in the screen and replacing the data when it's time to appear in the screen. I wanted to bring List here because you can basically do the exact same UI using a scroll view and a lazy B stack. As you can see, this works identical as a list. And here, yeah, we are consuming much more memory than the previous app because this demo is catching images in memory. This is cool, but now let's try to use regular B stack and see what happened here. This is really bad. Look at the console. We are here just showing what is the image that is requested, but that should happen only if we are using that image in the screen. We haven't even scrolled at all, but since we have Pytonation implemented and last Pokemon is always loaded, we are loading more and more Pokemons in the screen. The whole Pokedex is loaded in memory. And as you can see, we have now more than two gigabytes in memory. That's crazy. Let's go back to Lazy Vistack. I think at this point you already got the idea about Lazy Vistack versus Vistack. Vistack will always try to render all your views in the screen. And that means if you have a pagination system like this, well, prepare yourself because your app will crash eventually because, well, we'll run out of memory. That's why, yeah, it's much convenient to use lazy vstack for those cases. Now, one last thing between list and lazy vstack. With lazy vstack, you can build more flexible code than list with a trade-off. You lose all the special features that a native list has. For example, swipes and pull to refresh. For example, here, we don't have the pull to refresh anymore. If you want to build something really sophisticated, well, you can use lazy vstack, but you will have to implement by your own all the other features that SwiftUI brings to you natively. In contrast, list is supporting all the native features, but you don't have so much flexibility to customize the layout because it's a list and native list, so it's what it is. And also, if you want to display, for example, something in horizontal, you cannot do that with list. It's just working in vertical. For that case, you will have to use a lazy hashtag or something like a lazy grid that we will see later. So these are the difference between lazy vstack, vstack, and list. Remember that if you want to learn how to make a better async image with pagination, I recommend you to watch the video that I'm displaying here. But also, if you want to learn more about SwiftUI 3.0, I will also give you a video here. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.